Welcome to the Mitcham History Notes YouTube channel. Today we're going to have a look at the Mitcham Stadium. Yes, Mitcham actually had a stadium, a sports stadium, which occupied an area of about eight acres, opposite the football ground in Sandy Lane and between Sandy Lane and the Eastfields Road. It was built in 1935 and lasted only 20 years. Let's find out a bit more about its history. In council minutes of the Mitcham Borough Council, 6th of December 1934, there was the mention of a letter from a Mr S. E. Parks saying that he had under consideration a scheme for the utilisation of the Tissues Gravel Pit in Eastfields Road for the purposes of a rugby football ground and asked whether any objection would be raised by the council in connection with the use of this land for this scheme. And they said, no objection. In other words, sure, go ahead. It's not clear, though, whether the council actually appreciated the size of the sports ground that Mr Sidney Parks, entrepreneur and owner of possibly the largest collection of sports grounds in Europe at the time, had envisaged. This Mitchum News Mercury report of the 18th of May 1935 shows work proceeding on the ground, and this ad shows that the grand opening match was between Strassman Mitchum and visiting club Oldham. The report on the following Monday, the 9th of September 1935 in the Daily News, showed that Oldham beat Strassman Mitchum 10 points to 5 points. The article said, The introduction of the rugby league game at Mitcham Stadium, the well-equipped headquarters of Strassman Mitcham, one of the two new London clubs, was accorded a civic welcome, the mayor kicking off. In other respects, too, the start was auspicious, the official attendance of 24,000 being extremely satisfactory in this stronghold of soccer, and the game itself being of a rousing nature. Stressman and Mitchum, who were beaten by two goals and two tries to a goal and a try, flattered only to deceive. Other sports played at the stadium included Irish games such as hurling. This report from the Norwood News of 3rd of June 1938 has a photograph, unfortunately very bad quality, of a game between Tipperary and Limerick. Tip beat Limerick 28-13, I think it says. In addition, in the same newspaper, there's another Irish game. It's a game played by girls between teams from North and South London at the Mitcham Stadium. And it's pronounced Camogiecht. And I'm sure I got that wrong. I apologise. There wasn't much in the way of football played at the stadium, but this web website, Gandermonium, has got lots of details about what was played there, including the possibility at one point that the football ground of Fulham was going to be redeveloped for housing and they were considering moving to Misham. Anyway, I recommend this website and I'll put a link in the description. In addition for being used for sport, the stadium was also a venue for public exhibitions and events, such as this one in 1938, the Royal Arsenal Cooperative Society, the RACS, celebrated their 75th year, and this booklet also included a plan of the exhibition, how the stadium was being laid out, showing the two entrances at the top, at Sandy Lane and at the bottom, at Eastfields, and also of a map showing you how to get there. There was also a grand procession, carnival and fate, in aid of the Wilson Hospital. Everyone can help. And while we're on the subject of processions, after the Coronation of Queen Elizabeth II on the 2nd of June 1953. The following Saturday, the 6th of June, there was a procession through Mitcham to the stadium. Starting at half past one in the afternoon at the Three Kings Peace, the route took in Commissar West, Madeira Road, the Cricket Green, London Road, Lavender Avenue, Steersmead, Bordergate, Wilson Avenue, Victoria Road, London Road again, Gorridge Park Avenue, Stresham Road and Sandy Lane with the people walking into the stadium at that entrance there and the cars dispersing in Edgehill Road. And the plan was to get to the stadium at 4 o'clock. And in aerial photographs taken ostensibly of the Renshaw factory in Locks Lane on that same day, 6th of June 1953, we can see crowds lining the streets of the route. Zoom in over here. 
There's the Swan Pub. There's a group of people there outside those shops between the Swan and Evelyn Road. Seen a double decker bus. And another double decker bus. There's a bunch of people along the road here and into Lavender Avenue, which is where the procession was going to go into. The photographs of the procession itself and also inside the stadium, we turn to the Motor Memories Photographic Archives. The first one is of the Mayor, E.E. E. Mount, awarding first prize in the general class to the Romany School of Dancing. We can actually see that. Coronation procession, first prize. Next photo is a photo of the procession of the 70th Boys Brigade with someone dressed as Charlie Chaplin leading the procession. So this is at Three Kings Peace. And a clear view of Common Side East over there because at this time the Common hadn't been overgrown with trees and bushes etc. You could see across the railway line from Free King's Peace as far as Common Side East. And there is the character dressed as Charlie Chaplin. Now we're looking at photographs of the procession itself. And this is of the cadets. Quite likely the fair green. Can't really make out where at the fair green. It's possible. And this bus. There's a registration of DGY438. Anyone would like to look it up in a database somewhere and tell me what it is. Uh, and he doesn't like being photographed. And he's looking at us in a suspicious manner. So we'll move on to the next slide. There's a number of photographs now taken at a position which is on the other side of the road from the library. So that's the library there. Mitchum Library. And these are the rows of shops which are still there and the gap is where down, down the road is. And this van has got the Mitchum Chamber of Commerce on it. Also of note is this barbershop, Muscle. This building was demolished at some point and in the 60s Mitchum Library gained an extension on the left hand side here. Next slide please. The Mission Girl Guides. Again this is from the same spot you see the hairdressers there, the barber shop. Real cream. This is 1953. When we looked at a photograph of the Mitchum Library just after it had been built in the 1934 official guide, there were railings along the front. This looks like a picket, wooden picket fence. So I guess the railings were taken down for the war effort, for the metal. Next slide please. This is the Army Cadet Corps. A 
few medals. Right, cycle combination. That was the old car, sidecar combination. Zipping past. No crash helmets, of course. Is that barber shop? And library, as we said. Next slide, please. This is the junior members of the mission branch of the St. John's Ambulance Brigade. It would be great if someone watching this recognises their mum or granny. Oh, there's that motorcycle combination. Zip past. This is the first aid display by the local Red Cross. This is a bit further along the London Road from where we just were because that's Arnfield Crescent there. And you can tell it's Arnfield Crescent from the different shapes of the building. So this is Elm Court and that's Mainwaring Court. And that uh, distinctive street light. Bearing in mind that this, this estate had been built just one or two years previously to this parade. That's a brand new street light, electric. Trolley shop. Which looks like cigarettes to me. Kenzie Tess. Oh dear. <laughs> Uh, available to those in need. Good for them. The description on this one doesn't match the photo, so I won't read it. But again, we can see I feel Crescent Estate in the background, Elm Court, Mainwaring Court, Mainwaring Court, and that street light. I guess she's supposed to be Elizabeth the first. So they do look a bit Tudor, don't they? With a rough type of thing. He's looking a bit dodgy. <laughs> Shouldn't say that. He might be watching this video. And now the next photo is in the stadium. one of the stands. Which one? Can we tell? Not really. And this is torch bearers at the stadium. I actually think there's more information than just that, but there you go. If anyone recognises their grandparents, grandmothers in this, please let me know in the comments so we can add a bit more information. That looks like YMC. Mitchum Youth Club? Is that the symbol of Mitchum Youth Club? Looks like a Y, looks like an M, looks like a C and a kind of a rope design going around it. Some mark, it said now. Some marks on her band. And finally, the mayor, E. e. Mount, is inspecting the Benbow Sea Cadets at the stadium. I 
let's have a look at the trees there. I don't know the actual dimensions of this stadium. I haven't seen any specifications anywhere. But can we work out the number of rows of seats? Or is this a bit ambitious? Let's count the heads. One, two, three, four, five. No, wait a minute. Start again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 15 or 16 rows, does that sound reasonable? People who know what stadiums look like might want to leave a comment and say no, that's completely unreasonable. So that's the photographs on Merton Memories. I'll give a link to all the ones I've shown here in the description of the video. And in late August of that year, there was a Jehovah's Witnesses event at the stadium and someone took some colour film of the event. It doesn't have any sound, but it does give us an idea of what the stadium looked like on the inside. And yet, two years later, the stadium was sold. The site was redeveloped for housing, and as shown here in this georeference map, where we can see the view from 1952. And we turn off the transparency of the overlay to show you that the roads that are there now, Ormerod Gardens, Fowler Road, Priestley Road, Guyatt Gardens, and Roper Way leading into Eastfields Road, which is where that southern entrance to the stadium was. Well, if you've managed to get this far, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. Press the like button if you have. Leave comments. And consider subscribing if you haven't already done so. That's all for now. See you another time. Bye.